Hi, my name is Donovan Keith, and I'd like to introduce you to CV Object Manager Tools, a new set of plugins for Cinema 4D that will greatly simplify the process of working with large groups of objects, as well as setting them up for render using object buffers. Let's go ahead and dive in. Here's the project file for the animation that you just saw. I've got a few objects in my object manager, and you'll also notice this large palette to the left of my object manager. Uh, this is the CV Object Manager Tools palette, and I've uh, made it vertical and quite a bit larger so that you can easily make out the names of the commands. If, however, you want to pull up the palette yourself, you can go to CV Object Manager Tools, and I just access this by hitting Shift-C on my keyboard. And it's going to look like this, and I typically dock it just under my file menu here in the Objects Manager. Now I'm going to hide this for now, and let's take a look at how to use some of these features. So the first we'll take a look at is CV Hide or Show Object Toggle. And what this allows you to do is select any object in your scene, and when you click on it, it will deactivate the visibility in the editor as well as the renderer. And for objects that have a generator checkbox, it will also uncheck that box. So it's hiding your objects and speeding up your scene calculation a fair amount. So let's just start by hiding these large twisted spheres, which are sort of cluttering up my view and making it difficult to see what's going on. I now have a view of my objects, and let's say I started to move around. Well, I found that I've quickly ruined my camera position. This was something that I wanted to render, so I'm just going to hit Command-Shift-Z. And I now have the option of selecting my camera and choosing the CV Lock Object Toggle. And what this is going to do is add a protection tag to my object, and it now prevents me from moving my camera and rotating it unnecessarily. If you want to get access to your camera again, just unlock it. Now, you can lock any sort of object that you want, not just your camera objects. All right, next up is something called CV Toggle SDS Objects. And what this will do is toggle all of the subdivision surface objects in your scene. So I'm just going to deselect all the objects in my scene and click on this. And you'll notice that these sort of jack-shaped objects are now much more uh, cubic. And what we're going to see is a really significant increase in our frame rate because we're no longer having to calculate those subdivisions. So uh, turning off subdivision surface objects is now very easy. Next up is CV Randomize Object Colors. Now, when you press this button, it will go through your scene and randomize the colors of any selected objects. Or if you have none selected, it's going to go through and customize in your object settings on the basic tab the display color of your objects. And you can press this button again to continue to get different random color combinations. This is really useful if you're trying to differentiate between the parts of an imported object where you're not really sure how it's constructed, or if you're doing mechanical modeling. Next up is CV Localize Material slash Texture Tag. And what this will do is take a material that's applied to multiple objects and allow you to customize it for an individual object. So here I have this orange and black stripe material that's applied to these uh, helical sweep objects as well as my CVOM text. So I'm just going to click on my object here and choose CV localize material slash texture tag. And what that will do is duplicate my material and give it the name of the object it's applied to and update the texture tag with this new material, which allows me to come in here and change the color from orange, let's say, to white. And now I have something that looks a lot more like my final image. Next up is CV Texture Tag Toggle. If you want to quickly disable the texture tags on your objects, you can just choose this CV Texture Tag Toggle. It will disable the texture on your objects and hide it away for you to later restore. Next up is CV Add to New Object Buffer. And this is a really great tool set for quickly adding object buffers to your render settings. So just to show you what that's going to look like, I'm going to pop open my render settings. And I'm going to delete these object buffers that I've auto-generated here. And let's take a look at our scene. So right now I have these jacks, which I will uh, unhide, and my twisted sphere. I'm going to select both of those, and these are my background objects. So I want a different object buffer for them. So I'm going to select all, three, all two of those and click on CV Add New Object Buffer. And I'm going to call these Background. Next up, I'm going to select my CV OM Fracture here and just click on CV Add to New Object Buffer. And we'll see that we've got in our render settings here a new object buffer named after the object with a unique ID. 
And if we look in our compositing tag here, we see that the object buffer has been enabled for each of these. If I want, I can also come in here and add unique object buffers for both my jacks and my sphere by holding down the Option key and clicking on Add to New Object Buffer. It's going to add each to its own particular buffer and give me a buffer in my render settings. So very useful. Uh, next up, if you've got a bunch of objects in your scene and you want to apply a layer to them very simply, what you can do is select your objects and choose Add Each to New Layer. What that will do is create a new layer in the Layers Manager along with the name of the object in that layer, which makes it very easy to, for example, hide your camera in your Objects Manager if you want. Next up after that is CV Select Similar Objects. So let's say I'm just not really in love with these jacks. And let's imagine for a moment that they're scattered throughout my hierarchy in a bunch of different locations. I can select one of those objects and choose CV Select Similar Objects. And it's going to go through my scene and search for any object that is the same type as the object that I just selected. And in this case, I can select similar objects and then delete them if I want. Or I'm going to undo that for now to show off some other features. CV Select Parent will take any of the objects that you have selected and then select their parents. In this case, I've selected the Jack's parent most object. So one way that that might be useful is just clicking on one of these Jack's and just doing CV select parent until I get to my topmost object, which I can then delete. Next up is CV select siblings. Say I select one of these objects here and I want to get all of the similar objects. I can choose CV select siblings. Or let's say I wanted to manually bevel all of those edges. I can select one of my jacks in the object manager and choose CV select cousins. And what this does is it selects all objects at the same depth as the object that I have selected using the topmost parent object as the start of the family tree. And this can be really useful for well-structured hierarchies. In addition to my object selection tools, I have some tag selection tools. And one that I particularly like is CV select similar tags. All I have to do is select one tag, like say my Fong tag here, and choose CV select similar tags. It's going to go through my scene and find all tags of the same type and select them, which will allow me to come in here and set a more reasonable Fong angle, like say 23. If I have an object selected and I just want to get all of its tags, I can select that object and choose CV select tags, which will then select the tags of that object. Or say I have a tag selected, maybe one of my compositing tags, and I want to select the objects that are on an object buffer, I can now choose uh, let's say select similar to tags to get all those compositing tags, and then CV select tags object to get all of the objects that have that compositing tag on them. Last but not least, it's now possible to easily alphabetize all of these objects. If I want to, for example, alphabetize each of these subdivision surface objects so they go in descending order, I can just click on CV sort objects alphabetically, and they'll be sorted in my objects manager. Now, be careful if you are sorting the sub-objects of an object and those are deformers because the order of operation can sometimes be important. All right, that's my quick introduction to CV Object Manager tools. Please check the description of this video for links to a more in-depth help file as well as a bug tracker where you can add in suggestions or any bugs that you find. I'd love to hear your feedback and I hope that you have fun using these tools.